SpaceX. SpaceX. So they've had four launches. First launch, unsuccessful. Second launch, third launch. I think third launch blew up, or second launch blew up. Third launch blew up, or third launch blew up, second didn't. So they had to deal with the FFA. He finally got the approval to shoot a rocket up into space. Got approval. It took off and landed with the chopstick landing sticks at 23 meters in the Indian Ocean. Is that impressive? Yes, because most of the time the rockets shoot up into the sky and everything else just falls and it burns up or just dissipates in our atmosphere. Yeah, old school. uh, Rocket propel. NASA shit. So now we can actually bring back all the stuff. This touches a multiple different topics. We're getting into reusability. Reusability. We can talk about cleaning up our atmosphere. We could talk about cleaning up our stratosphere. Yeah, across the board. Because I don't know if a lot of people realize... The layers of space. Which I was actually talking years and years ago um, to to a very intelligent gentleman. I don't remember his name now. Um, he used to work with me. and uh, But he had... First off, listen, I need you to realize, man was smart as shit. I think he had a PhD. But he had he, a puff of duff? Had a house built around a, what do you call the thing? Missile silo? No, telescope thing. A telescope? It's not a telescope. It's called a observatory? Yes. He he had like a modular observatory delivered to his land and then had a house built around it. Okay. So it's like the whole dome thing that like spins around. Yeah. In the, yes. He, that he was his house. It. Interesting. Um, but he was working on a software program to track all the debris in Earth orbit. But he was, and, and hopefully, I don't, I don't know if I did. Hopefully, I contributed. I wasn't able to explain myself very well at the time because he was running into data interference issues for for his data models, like, like frequencies like or more. Noise noise he was running into noise and what i was trying to explain at that time is what what i said was have you thought of an analog option for cleaning up the noise because less people use analog what i meant to what what i meant to clarify and i didn't get a chance to was utilizing waveguides to clean up the noise are you familiar I'm, I'm tracking, with waveguides yeah. and how that will work and everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah. at this point we're talking about different types of frequencies. Yes, and yes, less yeah, people yeah. are using analog. Yeah. Talking about, yeah, 5G, 4G, 3G. This is where we're getting really into frequencies on that one. No, oh, this, this is, this used to be my bread and butter. I'm so fucking out of date and I forgot so much shit about this stuff, but I it's used to love minute. this. It's been a minute. I used to love this stuff. Uh, Pearl. But the reason SpaceX being able to bring stuff back down means we can put a payload in there, bring it up, and bring all the trash back from the space station, from the stratosphere, from anywhere in our atmosphere, all yep. the rogue satellites that we have out there yep. that nobody has existing. Well, now we can have government contracts to pay for, to take it, bring it back down. Government's across the board. Now we can also start moving towards transportation. Like, at this point, we can throw almost a whole... S- a whole satellite in there, throw it up, done, bring it back down. The only waste we have is the propulsion systems. And that's just the liquids. We don't need to worry about any of this because the aliens are going to solve all these problems. problems. Yeah, I mean, they're already here, bro. Aliens. Aliens. No, but this jumps down a lot of different trails. Like, we could have sci-fi ion thrusters, pretty much a propulsion grenade that pushes you into the it pretty much a space taxi is what we're talking about. We could have space taxis. What's an throw. ion thruster? Pretty much a grenade propulsion. What's a what's what, a grenade? What's, what's what's a grenade propulsion? So you know the shockwave that comes out of a grenade or any explosion? Okay, so what's the explosion in this case? I don't know exactly. Do what's causing like the explosion? Science. Aliens. Listen, if you're gonna speak on it, I need you to know the details, brother. 
aliens are causing the the lizard people. The lizard people who are running our Earth. government. <laughs> no, but now we can have those like Star Trek space taxis to go to and fro. And this does push Elon closer to his oh, we're gonna colonize Mars. Because I mean if we can start pushing more this way. And then oh. he made an offhanded comment on a podcast. He's like, Oh, well we'll just we'll stop at the moon and just build a a station. Well, I mean, that's kind of the first step, isn't it? You would think so, but that's his midway step. 